I'm going to be taking the cheapest flight every day in Asia, and I have no idea where I'm going to end up. You may have seen me do this before in Europe, but basically Skyscanner has a feature which lets you put everywhere as your destination. I'm going to be doing this every day and creating a random route of cheap flights. I then got my producer to book all the flights for me and set three challenges to complete in each location with a few different forfeits. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Singapore Airport, the best airport in the world. I was told to be here at 5 a.m. I have four different envelopes which I need to open. Not that one, not this one. Flight number one, this is the first envelope. Okay, it's the first destination, it's Kuala Lumpur, and there isn't just a destination on here. We have some challenges as well. First challenge is I need to convince someone on my flight to spend the day with me exploring. If I fail, I have to go and eat Malaysia's spiciest dish. I was so looking forward to just sleeping on that flight. I might be able to make a friend, who knows? So my first flight cost 42 pounds. These flights are not gonna be as cheap as European flights, but they really aren't bad considering they were booked two days before. Welcome to Kuala Lumpur. I failed my first challenge miserably. The social anxiety was just too much. Now for my second challenge, I need to ask the first stranger outside of the airport to pick a random number, which is gonna become my budget. I feel like I need to ask for a random number between one and a hundred, and whatever that is, convert it into Malaysian money from pounds. I'm gonna ask that guy right there because he is literally right next to me. Salam uh, Peggy, hello. Can you pick a random number? between one and 100. For what? It's my budget for the day. I wasn't supposed to tell you. 100. Hey, my guy. Prima Kasi, okay? <laughs> Was that cheating? I don't know. After slightly finessing the 100 pound budget, I jumped on the train and headed into the city to explore. Look how cool this temple is I have just stumbled across whilst walking around. Anyways, I need to find myself some food and coffee. And that is a huge building. Oh. My god. This is the place I found Luck Bros copy is supposed to be really good. I'm gonna be getting some nazi lemak. It is the most typical breakfast dish you find in Malaysia. Egg, cucumber, rice, uh, some brown crackers I think, anchovies, fried chicken and some sauce. So there we go. I'm currently in Chinatown at the Petaling Market. Definitely saying that wrong. There is a huge market here and you can buy absolutely everything. Now, I don't think a single thing here is real. I didn't really fancy buying a Fugazi bag, so I ordered a taxi to head to KL's most famous tourist attraction. Hi, Ben Maurice. Hey! Bro, you're eating the wrong part. No, that's a stick, bro. No, 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 you're meant to lick it. You're meant to lick it. How they taste, man. Good. Welcome to the Batu Cave. If you've ever seen anyone go to KL, they've definitely come to this place. 272 steps up to the top. This is going to be a bit of a workout, I can tell. Look how insane that is. The caves are believed to be 400 million years old. I mean, they look old. But now it is time to walk back down, which shouldn't be as bad. And I have somewhere which I've wanted to visit since I was a kid. And some of you will know what I mean. I have a new level of respect for this man. No lifts around here. I've arrived at the Penal Falls Casino. Well, it's not actually called that. It's of course Patronus Towers. If any of you used to play a game called Just Cause 2, then you'll recognize these towers. Now, I was gonna head up the towers, but my taxi driver told me not to bother. Apparently, it's a bit of a rip off, and the KL Tower is much better. So that is where we're heading. It's a 20 minute walk. Not much further to go. Right up there. Is the chaos hour. It is so hot. I'm dying. Got my ticket for 60 ringgit or 10 pounds. Hello. You on the right side. Yeah? Perfect. Terima kasih. And so I've made it 270 meters up the KL Tower. Is this worth a tenner? I'd say so. And that is the fourth tallest building in the world, according to my taxi driver. So I might want to fact check that. Off we go to our next location. A lizard. Yeah. It's huge. That is one big ass lizard. It is time for some nature and I'm on my way to the... We have made it to the world's largest free flight walk-in aviary. 12 quid to see some birds is a bit steep, but we've got the budget. That is crazy. Whoa. Look at his eye, it's just completely red. There is over 2,000 birds of 500 species in this park. What is this fella? He's like a duck. Are they ducks? Oh my god. Hello mate. Oh my good god. How old is he? 40. 40. Look at this little fella. Oh, no, not there, mate. Not there. Bye bye. Oh my god, he just spoke. That was actually one of the coolest things ever. Bird park completed. It's now time to go check into my hotel because I've run out of battery on my phone and I need to charge it. Made it to my hotel. This room has cost me 23 pounds. Ooh, look how nice this place is. Let's just pretend the yellow wall does not exist. We've even got a little kitchen, and the best part about this place definitely has to be the rooftop pool. 
look how insane this is. For 23 pounds a night, that is crazy. Well, seeing as I failed the first challenge of the day, I had to head out to complete my forfeit. I'm going to try a chili pan me. <laughs> I just came to the restaurant literally dedicated to chili pan me. But it is closed. This was my second option, which is also closed. Everywhere is either closed or too far out the city. However, there is a place that is delivering on Grab. So I'm gonna order it for 11 rigid. It smells so spicy. Chili pan meat. All right, here goes nothing. Oh boy. Yep, that's spicy. Despite it being ridiculously spicy. It actually tastes really good. All right, I'll try my best. That is all I can have for now. There is one last thing that I need to do before I'm going to bed. Oh, God. Well, I did not think this view could get better, but at night time, it is absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, I'm gonna sit down, have a drink, read my book before going to bed. Good morning, KL. It is that time again to head to the past, 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 airport. Day number two, let's find out where we're flying to. And our next destination is going to be, this next flight has cost 30 pounds and 80 pence. Anyways, I need to get some food because I am stuck. Don't hate me, but for some reason, I just crave McDonald's so bad right now. One last meal, indulging in the Malaysian cuisine. Do you look at that? Just look at it, the cheese, the egg. Final call. <sighs> All right. Welcome to Bangkok, one of my favorite cities. If you remember, we were here at the start of the year. I'm gonna try and not go to a coffee shop this time. Otherwise, I will not talk to the camera. I will be a mute for the whole day. Anyways. So we have made it into the city. Stop number one is Chinatown. And we're making our way via my favorite mode of transport, AKA a flying coffin. I'm sorry, mum, it's just too fun. Yep, this is absolutely terrifying. If you want a little adrenaline rush, I'd highly recommend it. Actually, I would not recommend this at all. Welcome to Chinatown. I forgot how busy this city is. 101 on how to cross the road. Fuck it, Fuck it. Ah, made it. Hello. Do you have a pork and rice? This is the place. Got some rice and some braised pork belly. That is actually incredible. It just makes me happy. Hello, mate. How are you doing? I have just realized I completely forgot to get a fridge magnet for me and my mum in KL yesterday. That is such an hour. Hello, my friend. It is now time for me to go and complete my first challenge. This one might be a bit expensive. It shouldn't be that bad. We're in Bangkok. Walk the entire length of the Khao San Road. Anytime a vendor tries to sell you something, you have to buy it. For Say this is really not gonna end well. I see someone coming in for the attack. Oh, there he is. What are you selling? Suit, shirts, everything? Okay. How long are you here, my friend? Huh? Till tomorrow morning. I leave tomorrow morning. I make. We can. We can make that night. I don't want to spend more than like two thousand. So maybe I just get a shirt or something. No, no, because <laughs> money is never stay in the same same place always. Yeah, you're a good salesman. Okay, let's just do it. Fine. Thank you very much, my friend. Cop and grab. Thank nice doing much. business with you. Oh, for Sake. Just spent a hundred quid on a linen shirt and trousers. Oh, this is so annoying. All right, anyways. Hello. Massage? Okay. Poor woman. Okay, that was actually such a good shot. This is so good. Thank you, Kopanka. I'm actually not mad about that one. My feet feel brand new. If you guys watched my last Bangkok video, you will remember this place, Plantopia. I, I shouldn't go in there. I, I shouldn't. We haven't got far left. The end of the road is in sight. It wasn't as bad as I thought. And just like that, we have made it. Tuk Tuk, you have a Tuk Tuk? I then took a five pound Tuk Tuk around the city. And I may have lied to you guys. Uh, I did actually uh, go to the coffee shop. So I've just been at the Icon Siam shopping center. I got some food. I also did some shopping, but it is now time for our next activity. This next activity will basically decide whether we're staying in quite a strange place this evening. Welcome to the Mai Tai Fight Night. Oh my god! I basically need to guess who's gonna win. If I get it wrong, I have to go stay in the prison hotel. It's a prison, but it's also a hotel, kind of. You'll see. So, as you're gonna see a bit later on in the video, I'm not the best at approaching people in person especially females. Now, I might not come across that way, but I'm a bit of an introvert, and luckily, we have 
dating apps. Today's video has been sponsored by Fruits, which is a new dating app on the block. Fruits have solved the biggest issue on dating apps, and that is, of course, being able to tell everyone what your exact intention is. When you're setting up your profile on Fruits, it will ask you to select a fruit, and each fruit has a different meaning, different intention. First, you have cherry, which is to pick the one, tie the knot. You then have a grape, just going on a good date without the headache, just vibing. We then have two more interesting fruits. First off, we have watermelon. Find fruits with benefits no seeds attached and then uh, <laughs> the final fruit is peach and it's to get cheeky between the sheets i'm sure most of you understand what each fruit is implying as you can see i've currently selected watermelon which is fine fruits of benefits and uh this is my profile right here and you can see what my fruit is the rest of the app is pretty self-explanatory swipe right to like swipe left to not like make sure to check out the link down below and get yourself on fruits i reckon the guy in red's got it the gold and red please pull through bro oh come on red oh go on lads come on mate go on go on go on go on oh oh no Oh no, my girl's getting checked by the doctor. Come on. No. Oh, that is such an L. Does that count as a win? I guess he's got the W, so great. Before I call it a night and head back to my prison, I decided to come and check out Cow Sam Road at night time. It's completely transformed. My third and final challenge of the day is to find myself a date, and if I can't, I have to eat at the worst rated restaurant in the whole city. I'm sorry, but there's one thing I do not have, and that is sober riz. I'm just gonna take the forfeit. Wherever we are tomorrow, we have to go and eat at the worst rated restaurant in the whole city. Oh, for f sake. Thank you. All right, welcome to my room. This is literally a prison room, but a very, very, very nice one. There's literally bars on the window. That is so cool. <laughs> this is definitely not a forfeit, if I'm gonna be honest. Goodbye prison room, it has been real. Good morning and welcome to Bangkok Airport. It's currently quarter to five and I need to find out where I'm flying next. I haven't really appreciated the 3.45 wake up call this morning, so I hope we're going somewhere good. Okay, number three. We are going to, well, they sure are some interesting challenges. Good morning and welcome to Singapore. I'm feeling a new level of sh today. I don't think the lack of sleep is helping. That's what we love to see. What a great day to explore. Now I've been to Singapore airport many times but I've never explored the jewel before which is a shopping center which I'm currently in right now. And behind me is the world's tallest indoor waterfall. It just doesn't look like it's turned on though. I think I'm gonna need a rain jacket today. It's not looking great outside. This should do just fine. Oh, they decided to turn the fountain back on. Anyways, enough shopping. It's now time for my first and second challenge actually at the same time. It's gonna be a long day for me, I can't lie. I've been given coordinates which I need to get a cab to. I then need to navigate around the city using only road signs and asking locals for help with my phone turned off. And to make matters even worse, I only have £20 to spend for today. I'm pretty much in Asia's most expensive city and it's also raining. This is gonna be fun. Thank you, bye bye. Well, we have arrived. I thought the rain was gonna stop. It hasn't. And on top of the two challenges I already have, I need to find a cat cafe and get 10 selfies with 10 different cats. How am I meant to find a cat cafe? That is so random. Do you know where I can get an umbrella from? Umbrella acquired. That is exactly what we needed. Let's not take the umbrella out of my budget because otherwise that's half of my budget gone for the day. Let's just pretend that I already had an umbrella. Excuse me. Do you know which way it is for the city centre? Like Chinatown. Just that way. Apparently we're going this way. Oh, I see directions. This is what we're looking for, a big old map. Okay, we're here at Tangling Gate and this bus says towards city. That is where we want to go. Oh, the bus that she just pulled in. It's moving, but I can't jaywalk because it's probably very illegal here. All right. Oh, okay. Don't worry, mate. Bye bye. Why would you do that? I was standing at the bus stop. I decided to get the metro instead. We are here and we want to go down here. Ooh. Didn't mean to do that. And just like that, we are ready to attack the outdoors. Excuse me. Do you know which way Chinatown is? That way? Okay. 
Thank you. There is the first sign we are entering Chinatown. I think we're going in the right direction. I don't really know why I'm heading to Chinatown. I just know that's near the main city area. I'm gonna have to go up to people and ask them if they know where a cat cafe is. Such a rogue question to go around and ask it. They even have the same vending machines you get in Japan here as well. These are so cool. However, I found something even cooler, this orange juice machine. And it's only two Singaporean dollars. Ta-da! Oh, wow. Nothing better than a bit of orange juice on a nice summer's day. Oh, oh my god, it's so good. Well, we haven't exactly got much budget today. This is the best place I know. Get cheap food. Well, got myself a McDonald's for the second day in a row, and I feel terrible for it. I think I've just about come up with my plan on how I'm gonna find a cat cafe. I could randomly ask people, but the chances of them knowing is so unlikely. Let's try this. Hello, do you know the cat cafe? You don't know? Okay, no worries. Do you know a cat cafe? No? Do you know the cat cafe? Thank you so much. And where is it? Just, just back there? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. The Cat Cafe 241B241. Um, hello? Where are you? Oh, is that it? The Cat Cafe. Turn right ahead and head up the stairs. Abuse me all you want, but I've always wanted to go to a Cat Cafe. I'm so excited for this. Welcome. Please be quiet. Kitties are snoozing. Umbrella here. Hello, mate. How are you? Literally not breaking the stair. Hello. That was actually adorable. I got my 10 selfies. I think I've earned my phone back now because otherwise I'm not gonna know what to do for the rest of the evening. I'm on my way to go see the most famous building in Singapore. I've always wanted to see this building. And there she is in all of her glory. Marina Bay Sands, the three towers and the boat light structure on top of it. It is actually a hotel among many other things. I wish I could go up there. It has an infinity pool up the top. Now the big difference between Singapore and the previous two countries we've been to is Singapore is extremely expensive. And we have a 20 pound budget for today, which is already gone. I have nothing left. But there is one thing we need to do. And I don't think you're gonna get mad at me for spending money on this. About five minutes that way is the worst rated restaurant in the whole of Singapore. This restaurant has 1.8 stars with over two 248 reviews and it is just coming up somewhere here. You follow the men? Thank you. All right, here we are. I'm actually having a really nice time. Sat by the river. They've been really nice. Having a look through the menu. The food looks good. I'm gonna have faith here. Most of the reviews are people complaining about the price. And it, yeah, it does actually look quite expensive. I'm not gonna lie. Got myself some chicken. Actually, it's really good. And then pineapple fried rice. I'm gonna pretend like I can use chopsticks. Definitely wasn't the best. I wouldn't give it the rating it has. I see why people rate it badly. Some of the things on that menu are ridiculously priced. £31.17 could be worse. You may be asking Ben, where are you sleeping tonight? And that is a great question because I only just booked somewhere and I somehow managed to find a steal. The place we're staying is only costing £35 for the night, which is honestly a bargain for Singapore. It's probably not what you're expecting, but you'll see what I mean. Welcome to the JYU Capsule Hotel. Good morning and welcome back to the airport. It's currently 10 to 6. I had a solid four hours of sleep last night. I feel like shit. I also feel like I did not get much done yesterday because I couldn't use my fing phone and it was raining. I think it is now time for us to find out our next destination. Single country, reveal yourself in three, two, one. Goodbye, Singapore. It's been very short this week. Next stop. Welcome to Ho Chi Minh City, our fourth country. This flight was a bit more expensive at 57 pounds, but we're here and Ho Chi Minh is supposed to be insanely cheap. Hello. This taxi is costing me about two pounds. Also on a side note, filming these kind of videos and just traveling in general has made me so, so grateful to have such a strong passport. The fact that I can just turn up to all these countries and get a visa on arrival is insane. To most of you watching that probably have a strong passport, be grateful. Oh, someone just got married. Oh, that's so cute. Congratulations. Whisfee Coffee. This place looks so sketch. Here we are, Whisfee Cafe. Wow. 
Look at this little gem. This place is so cool. Hello, how are you? So what do I need to try? I need to, it's my first time. I need an egg coffee. It's good? Yeah. Thank you. There goes the egg. Some things just don't feel right. And an egg coffee doesn't sound right, but I'm willing to give it a chance, you know? Oh, wow. That is so good. Oh my God. I did not expect that to taste so good. What's your name? Uh, my name's Gul. Uh, nice to meet you, my friend. My name's Ben. Apparently, my producer wants me to die because I have to rent out a motorbike ride around Ho Chi Minh for the day, which is supposed to be the most dangerous place in the world for tourists to ride around. And also, our second challenge of the day is not really a challenge, but a condition. We have 5 million Vietnamese dong to spend for the day. It's about 165 pounds, and I'm going to show you what we can get. I have my eyes on a certain hotel, which looks insane. Thank you very much, my friend. Goodbye. Hello, how are you? Am I able to rent a moped just for one day? This bike was about 250,000 dong wong? Wong? Is it wong? Dong. Dong. D, dong. How do you say? Dumb. 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 Okay. Okay, dumb. This bike was 250,000 for the day, which is about eight pounds, I believe. I've just been given a recommendation for a faux place, which is super nearby, and I am starving. So, let's go. All right. Bike secured. I am absolutely terrified to go into the city. Thank you. And we have made it to Foso One Back Ha Hanoi. Ah, thank you so much. I don't know how to eat pho. Do I eat it? Do I drink it? I haven't had pho anywhere before other than pho in London. And I always get curry, not pho. I'm actually an embarrassment. So I've had to read an article on how to eat pho. Apparently, spoon in the left hand, chopsticks in the right hand. Take a sip of the broth whilst I start working on the noodles. I can't do this many things at once. Mm. Oh wow, I really need a fork right now guys. Now for my next challenge, I've just put up an Instagram story and the first reply is what I need to do. Let me check and I'll get back to you. So one person told me to go to the war tunnels, which is way too far away. We don't have enough time. Second option is the war museum. So we're gonna go there. This is gonna be a learning experience. Okay, wish me luck guys. We're getting into busy territory now. Oh shit, where am I going? What the f***? Is that a f Ferrari? Yes! Go for taking me! I just overtook a Ferrari on 50cc bike. What a f***ing virgin. I think that has to be one of my biggest achievements since not failing any of my GCSEs. I don't want a lot for Christmas. Yeah. Hello. Thank you. Thank you very much. Look at this. Inner Geek is going crazy right now. Look at that with the missiles. It's so cool but so sad. Look at this chopper. Damn. It just doesn't look real. I'm sure it is. Look at that. The size of this Chinook is just wild. Wow. This makes you realize that we really are fucked as human beings, you know? I actually remembered to get myself a fridge magnet this time. Fridge magnet secured. Just had a coconut, which cost about a pound. Just realized I'm about to run out of petrol. Classic Ben move. Don't squish me. Ah. Petrol secured. I think I must have spent like 50p on that. Little bit of gas and we are ready to go. Now that is crafty. Oh, don't like the look of this street. Yeah. Alright, first exit at the roundabout, we're at the roundabout. How can you always manage to find a Starbucks in every? Did I just run a red light? Probably. Oh well. Anyways, where is this famous Van Lee store? Well, I think that might be it. Holy shit. I have never seen so many delivery drivers in my life. I've just realized this one is for the delivery drivers and this one is for normal customers. Just a normal Van Lee, whatever is the best. How many? Just one. Now, I wish I could tell you what I just ordered, but I have absolutely no idea. My Vietnamese is not quite there yet. Thank you. Look, the queue has grown. This place is clearly popular. Let's open her up. Bloody hell, why have they got it so loud for? I don't know if you guys can hear how loud that is. What is going on? Anyways, look at this. Okay, I think there's some cheese, some pate, some pork. Meats, all that good stuff. Bro, there is no way this is real. Anyways. Oh my God, this is insane. Mm. Yeah, that is good. Lives up to the name. Highly recommend if you come to Ho Chi Minh City. Subway will never taste the same again after this. Bro is getting giddy with it. Look at him go. Beep, beep, beep. That is very unfortunate. He's frozen. Oh, oh. And just like that, we have arrived back. Hello! Still alive? Yeah! <laughs> what an amazing day. 
I have honestly had the best time just riding around on that bike, visiting this new place. Oh my god, I was just walking past, look at that. Why? A pet? Oh, yeah, man. Wow. And look at this little coffee shop at the end of the street. It's so sweet. I'm gonna get myself a coffee. Look at that. It's now finally time to go check into our hotel. I am so excited. Fingers crossed. It's gonna be good. This is my room that I'm gonna be staying in for the evening. Look how crazy this place is. This bed is huge. Coolest feature of the room this glass curved window around the bar. And of course, the best part about this room is the price. It only cost me 111 pounds. This is a five star hotel. It is one of the best hotels in the city. I have had the craziest past few days, seeing different people from different backgrounds and experiencing different cultures. I can't get enough of it. I love it. Thank you so much to everyone that supports this channel. Anyways, I'm going to bed.